supposed to go here. And we're now here. So now we've got to turn around, go back, and then up. And instead of drive to Wick, and then up. So it's not the most impressive route we've ever made, but it'll work. I'm editing my last bit of uh, Scotland footage before we head home and I realized that I don't have a lot and I didn't explain a lot. So this is our drive up to Halkirk. Halkirk's kind of in the north of Scotland. It's where the World Championships were head. <coughs> before anyone freaks out, I really didn't film much of the World Championships. See, I was really focused on trying to compete and get the job done and luckily was able to get a podium finish. So spoiler alert, took third. Um, the knee held up pretty good. But this is kind of the trip up, some more landscape stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoy that footage. And then uh, the next vlog will probably be us be heading home. So, last year, while I'm Scott, when we uh, ran into Jim and the boys who were filming a documentary about the heavies. And uh, they've just met up with again to film a little bit more. So once uh, their stuff comes out, see what I can do to link everything so you guys can find it. Should be pretty cool. About a year worth of footage of them traveling kind of with guys and, and throwing and watching us throw and kind of get the story behind the scenes. So it should be really, really good. Hmm, should get interesting, yeah? All right, they're gonna film with us. I'm not gonna film any of it. Road to Halkirk now. All fueled up. Quick little swim in the lock again this morning. That was excellent. It was really fucking cold. Moving forward. All right, we got most of the interior car interview done. How do you think it went, Scott? Pretty good. I think I think the camera loves me. And, uh, uh, you are such a knob. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? I didn't stitch you up at all on that. He's just enjoying the whole thing, right? Do you uh, think you're... Oh, is it? You Americans seem to be more sort of media savvy than that. Do you have like, lessons at school or something? I think part of it is we didn't grow up on a really shit cold island. <laughs> and everyone kind of wants to be us since we're the best country in the world. America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> exactly, you got it. You know the song. How many times... America! Fuck yeah! How many times on this trip would you estimate that you have mentioned the fact that America bailed out England in the Second World War. It comes up a lot, I naturally. You've mentioned it at least six times in the last 24 hours. <laughs> it ramps up toward the end. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I would expect that at any point tomorrow where you're throwing well, and I can come in a second and give you a couple points. God damn it. It wouldn't be mentioned. <laughs> it would never be brought up. <coughs> Cough's not sounding good, mate. I oh, know. How long are you gonna wait for the boys? Well, we need to wait for that call, don't we? Filming actual stuff isn't as nearly as much fun as just filming the way I film. You have to set up shots and drive past. I wouldn't do that to you, Scott. Is it on? Mine is on, yeah, so is that one. Is it? Yeah. How do you know? See the red blinking light? No. It's a dead giveaway. officially back on the correct track and about 20 miles from where we're headed. Quick drop into a castle. Pretty serious castle. Thanks for an interesting stop. It's kind of chilly today. I think this is probably what the weather is going to be all weekend too. Kind of pissing rain. Big fucking castle though. Why haven't they destroyed this thing?
There's zero chance in America that we would just have this. Why won't they let him go? What do you mean, let him go? He's owned by the queen. I think that's only spun. That thing would fucking deal you death. I hate it. Alright. It does super bum me out to see birds cha like chained up. Alright, let's go. Time for coffee and a snack, and then back on the road. All right, done with a little lunch, back in the car. About an hour left of the drive, just in time to show up and be told we have to do a bunch of stuff. Nice, relaxing day. Whew, it's a good thing we're in shape. All the stairs, carrying all the heavy bags. Whew, made it. Gonna go to kind of a meet and greet thing here shortly. Kind of uh, sponsors for the games who have us up, help pay for the hotel rooms, pay for prize money, stuff like that. We've got a thing with them in 28 minutes. Um, tomorrow. You. What? You're on control of filming everything good. All of it? Yeah. No. For the whole day? No. Why not? Uh uh. I didn't sign up for that job. You're my wife. So? You could help so much with the vlog. What if I just give you the small camera? You film whatever you want. No, I don't want to carry that around either. Hmm. I'm gonna meet my sponsors. Dinner? Okay. All right, we're heading to dinner now. Oh, air conditioning. It's fucking hot in there, man. You want skinny, man? Shit. Yeah? Skinny? Yeah. All right. Who's skinny? Yeah. Me? Not me. No. Not me, I'm heavy as fuck. You got, you got bigger. Yeah. <laughs> what that said, and I've said it before, is that I don't want... I don't want this vlog to get in the way of my life. I just want to share as much of my life as I can with you guys, kind of an honest approach to who I am and what I'm doing. <clears throat> I don't want to sacrifice like unique moments or experiences with the idea of putting a camera up to film. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the Scotland vlogs. It's been a it was a wonderful trip, a beautiful country. I've never been out of town that long at one time. I think it was like 17 total days or something like that. But it's really great. So thank you guys again for watching and hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Spread hate, always party, and see you tomorrow.